Top 6 cheapest vintage cars. Number 1. Dodge Meadowbrook, 1949. Creation history. The Dodge Meadowbrook was introduced in 1949 and represented one of the full-size car models produced by Dodge in the post-war period. This car was created in the context of growing demand for comfortable and stylish vehicles during the recovery period after World War II. This car had three main advantages. The first – spacious interior. Dodge Meadowbrook was designed with an emphasis on spaciousness and comfort, offering passengers ample room. The second – fuel efficiency. At the time, many automakers, including Dodge, emphasized fuel efficiency, and the Meadowbrook was no exception. The third – classic style. Stylish design with attractive lines and chrome accents made the Meadowbrook an appealing choice for car enthusiasts in the 1940s. Interesting facts about the automobile. Creation of post-war models. After World War II, automakers faced high demand, and the Dodge Meadowbrook was one of Dodge's responses to this demand. Technology of the time. The Meadowbrook utilized traditional technologies and solutions, typical of the post-war revival period in the automotive industry. As of the last known information, the cost of a 1949 Dodge Meadowbrook in the classic car market is estimated to be around $4,950. However, prices can vary depending on the specific car's condition, history and level of restoration. The condition of specific cars can vary significantly. Some may be in original condition, while others may have undergone restoration. Preserving historical authenticity often influences the price of a classic car. Friends, if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on new releases. Number 2. Studebaker Dictator, 1927. Creation history. The Studebaker Dictator, introduced in 1927, marked an important chapter in the history of Studebaker, an American automobile manufacturer. During this era, Studebaker aimed to offer a range of models that catered to diverse consumer preferences. This car had three main advantages. The first – innovative design. The Studebaker Dictator boasted an innovative design for its time, featuring sleek lines and a distinctive aesthetic that set it apart from other cars. The second – advanced engineering. Studebaker was known for incorporating advanced engineering into its vehicles, and the Dictator was no exception, showcasing technological advancements of the era. The third – model variety. Studebaker offered various body styles and configurations for the Dictator, providing consumers with options to suit their preferences. Interesting facts about the automobile Introduction of Dictator line The Dictator was part of Studebaker's Dictator series, a line of automobiles produced between the 1920s and 1930s. Enduring Legacy the Studebaker Dictator has left an enduring legacy in the automotive world, appreciated by collectors and enthusiasts for its historic significance. As of the last available information, a 1927 Studebaker Dictator in the classic car market is estimated to be valued at around $6,600. However, it's essential to note that specific factors such as condition, rarity and historical significance can influence the price. Individual cars may vary in their current condition, some may have been meticulously restored to their original glory, while others might retain more of their authentic aged appearance. The overall condition often plays a crucial role in determining the value of a vintage automobile. Number 3. Packard Clipper, 1941. Creation history. The Packard Clipper, introduced in 1941, represented a significant milestone for the Packard Motor Car Company. It was a part of Packard's strategy to offer a more affordable line of automobiles without compromising on the brand's reputation for luxury and quality. This car has three main advantages. The first – affordable luxury. The Packard Clipper aimed to provide a luxurious driving experience at more accessible price point making the brand's elegance and craftsmanship available to a broader market. The second – elegant design. The Clipper featured an elegant and streamlined design, incorporating classic Packard styling cues. Its appearance was well received, contributing to its popularity. The third – technological features. Packard was known for integrating advanced technological features into its vehicles, and the Clipper was equipped with innovations of its time. Interesting facts about the automobile Introduction of the Clipper line 
the Pocket Clipper marked the beginning of the Clipper series, which continued to be produced by Pocket in various forms for several years. World War II Impact Production of civilian vehicles, including the Clipper, was halted during World War II as automobile manufacturers shifted to wartime production. As of the latest available information, the cost of a 1941 pocket clipper in the classic car market is estimated to be around $17,000. However, it's crucial to consider factors such as the car's condition, historical significance and the extent of restoration when determining its value. Individual pocket clippers on the market may vary in condition. Some may have undergone extensive restoration, preserving the vehicle's original features, while others might retain a more authentic, aged appearance. The specific condition often influences the market value of a classic automobile. Number 4. Ford Mainline 1952 – Creation History the Ford Mainline introduced in 1952 was a part of Ford's lineup during the post-war era. This period saw a surge in demand for automobiles as the economy recovered, and Ford aimed to offer a reliable and affordable vehicle to meet the needs of the growing American middle class. This car had three main advantages. The first – practicality and affordability. The Ford Mainline was designed with practicality and affordability in mind, making it an accessible choice for families and individuals seeking reliable transportation. The second – robust construction. Known for its durable construction, the Mainline was built to withstand the rigors of daily use, contributing to its reputation for reliability. The third – classic styling. The Mainline featured classic styling elements of the time, characterized by a simple yet timeless design making it an attractive option for those who appreciated understated elegance. Interesting facts about the automobile – post-war economic boom Introduction of the Ford mainline aligned with the post-war economic boom, reflecting the increased purchasing power and desire for personal transportation. Evolution of Ford's lineup The mainline was part of Ford's strategy to diversify its lineup and cater to a broad spectrum of consumers with varying needs and preferences. As of the latest available information, the cost of a 1952 Ford Mainline in the classic car market is estimated to be around $11,000. It's essential to note that the actual value can vary based on factors such as the car's condition, originality and the extent of any restoration work. Individual Ford Mainline cars on the market today may vary in condition. Some may have undergone restoration to maintain or enhance their original features, while others might retain a more authentic aged appearance. The specific condition of the car often plays a significant role in determining its market value. Number 5. Dodge Aspen 1976 – Creation History the Dodge Aspen introduced in 1976 was part of Chrysler Corporation's lineup during a period marked by changes in consumer preferences and tightening emission regulations. As a compact car, the Aspen aimed to provide fuel efficiency and practicality without compromising style. This car had three main advantages. The first – compact design. The Dodge Aspen featured a compact design, making it well suited for urban environments and appealing to drivers looking for a more maneuverable car. The second – fuel efficiency. In response to the oil crisis of the 1970s, automakers, including Dodge, focused on improving fuel efficiency. The Aspen was designed with this goal in mind, offering a balance between performance and fuel economy. The third – variety of body styles. The Aspen was available in various body styles, including sedan, coupe and wagon, providing consumers with options to suit their preferences and needs. Interesting facts about the automobile – Volar Twin The Dodge Aspen had a twin model called the Plymouth Volar, sharing many components and characteristics. Both models were part of Chrysler's attempt to address market demands for smaller, more efficient cars. Marketing Strategy Chrysler employed an extensive marketing campaign for the Aspen, promoting its features, fuel efficiency and reliability. As of the latest available information, the cost of a 1976 Dodge Aspen in the classic car market is estimated to be around $9,900.
However, the actual market value can vary based on factors such as the car's condition, mileage and any modifications or restoration work. The condition of individual Dodge Aspen cars on the market today can vary. Some may be in original condition, while others might have undergone restoration to preserve or enhance their features. The condition often influences the car's value and appeal to collectors and enthusiasts. Number 6. Oldsmobile Omega 1973. Creation history. The Oldsmobile Omega, introduced in 1973, was part of General Motors lineup and was closely related to other compact cars like the Chevrolet Nova and Pontiac Ventura. It was designed to cater the growing demand for smaller and more fuel-efficient vehicles during the 1970s. This car had three main advantages. The first, compact size. The Oldsmobile Omega featured a compact size, making it suitable for drivers seeking a more maneuverable and fuel-efficient option. The second, variety of body styles. The Omega was available in different body styles including coupe and sedan, providing buyers with options to match their preferences. The third, engine options. Buyers could choose from various engine options, allowing them to balance performance and fuel efficiency according to their needs. Interesting facts about the automobile. GMX body platform. The Oldsmobile Omega shared the same platform GMX body with other GM models like the Chevrolet Nova, Pontiac Ventura and Buick Apollo. This platform was versatile and used for several compact cars across GM brands. 1973 oil crisis. The introduction of the Oldsmobile Omega coincided with the oil crisis of 1973, prompting a shift in consumer preferences towards smaller, more fuel-efficient cars. As of the latest available information, the cost of a 1973 Oldsmobile Omega in the classic car market is estimated to be around $9,300. However, it's essential to note that actual market prices can vary based on factors such as the vehicle's condition, history and any modifications or restorations. The condition of individual Oldsmobile Omega cars on the market today can vary widely. Some may retain their original features, while others might have undergone modifications or restoration. The condition is a key factor influencing the car's value and appeal to collectors and enthusiasts. Mercury Montego, 1968. Creation history. The Mercury Montego was introduced in 1968 as part of the mid-size car lineup produced under the Mercury brand, a subsidiary of Ford Motor Company. This period marked intense competition in the mid-size car segment, and the Montego was Mercury's response to the growing demand for such vehicles. This car had three main advantages. The first, spacious interior. The Mercury Montego was designed with an emphasis on comfort and interior space, providing ample room for passengers. The second, fuel efficiency. During the era of Montego's introduction, there was a focus on fuel economy, and this car was no exception. The third, stylish design. The Montego featured a stylish design with characteristic elements of its time, making it appealing for car enthusiasts. Interesting facts about the automobile. Family car. The Mercury Montego was positioned as a family car, and its design and features reflected an emphasis on everyday convenience. Body style options. The Montego offered various body style options, including sedans and wagons. As of the last available data, the estimated market value of a 1968 Mercury Montego in the classic car market is approximately $3,000. However, prices may vary depending on the specific car's condition, restoration level and other factors. The condition of individual cars can vary significantly, some may have undergone complete restoration while preserving historical authenticity, while others may require additional work. The condition and restoration level can significantly impact the price and desirability among collectors. Friends, if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on new releases. Number 2. Plymouth Savoy 1954. Creation history. The Plymouth Savoy introduced in 1954 was part of Plymouth's lineup during the post-war automotive boom. Plymouth, a division of the Chrysler Corporation, aimed to offer a stylish and affordable option for consumers in the mid-range car market. This car had three main advantages. The first, affordability. The Plymouth Savoy positioned as an affordable option, making it accessible to a wide range of consumers. The second, stylish design. 
With its sleek and modern design, the Savoy appealed to buyers looking for a car that combines style and functionality. The third, comfort features. The Savoy incorporated various comfort features for its time, enhancing the driving experience for passengers. Interesting facts about the automobile, 1954 model year. The 1954 Plymouth Savoy represented a transitional period in automotive design, featuring elements of both classic and more modern styling. Popular among collectors. Today, the Plymouth Savoy is appreciated by collectors for its historical significance and mid-century design. As of the latest information, the estimated market value of a 1954 Plymouth Savoy in the classic car market is around $12,000. However, it's important to note that prices can vary based on factors such as the car's condition, historical significance and the extent of any restoration work. The current condition of individual Plymouth Savoy cars can vary. Some may be preserved in original condition, while others could have undergone restoration. The level of restoration and overall condition are key factors influencing the car's value and desirability among collectors. Number 3. Studebaker Dictator 1927. Creation history. The Studebaker Dictator, introduced in 1927, marked an era of innovation and design evolution for Studebaker Corporation. The Dictator was part of Studebaker's efforts to offer consumers a stylish and reliable automobile during the booming automotive industry of the 1920s. This car had three main advantages. The first, innovative design. The Studebaker Dictator featured cutting-edge design elements for its time, showcasing Studebaker's commitment to innovation. The second, affordable luxury. Positioned as a mid-range car, the Dictator aimed to provide consumers with a balance of luxury features and affordability. The third, performance. The Dictator was known for its reliable performance, making it a popular choice among drivers of the era. Interesting facts about the automobile. Model diversity. The Dictator was offered in various body styles, including sedans, coupes and convertibles, providing buyers with option to suit their preferences. Surviving examples While many cars from the 1920s have become rare, some Studebaker Dictator models have been preserved or restored, showcasing the enduring appeal of this historic vehicle. As of the latest information, the estimated market value of a 1927 Studebaker Dictator in the classic car market is around $6,600. Prices can vary based on factors such as the car's condition, historical significance and the extent of any restoration work. The current condition of individual Studebaker Dictator cars can vary widely. Some may have been meticulously restored to their original glory, while others may retain their original features. Preservation of historical authenticity often influences the value and desirability of classic cars among collectors. Number 4. Hudson Commodore 1941. Creation history. The Hudson Commodore, launched in 1941, was a significant addition to Hudson's lineup during a period of automotive innovation and design diversity. The Commodore was positioned as a top-of-the-line, full-size car, showcasing Hudson's commitment to combining performance and luxury. This car had three main advantages. The first, step-down design. The Hudson Commodore was known for its step-down design, featuring a lower center of gravity for improved handling and stability. The second, powerful engine options. The car boasted powerful engine options for its time, contributing to its reputation for strong performance on the road. The third, luxurious interior. The Commodore offered a comfortable and luxurious interior with attention to detail in materials and craftsmanship. Interesting facts about the automobile. Aerodynamic innovation. The 1941 Hudson models, including the Commodore, were notable for their aerodynamic advancements, contributing to fuel efficiency and improved performance. Limited production. Production of civilian vehicles was interrupted by World War II, making the 1941 Hudson models, including the Commodore, somewhat limited in numbers. As of the latest market data, the estimated value of a 1941 Hudson Commodore in the classic car market is around $13,500. Actual prices can vary based on factors such as the vehicle's condition, historical significance and the extent of any restoration. The current condition of individual Hudson Commodores varies. Some may have undergone extensive restoration to their original specifications, while others may retain a more authentic aged appearance. The condition often influences the value and desirability of classic cars among collectors. Number 5. Chevrolet Vega 1970. 
Creation history. The Chevrolet Vega introduced in 1970 was conceived as General Motors response to the rising demand for small fuel-efficient cars in the wake of the oil crisis. Designed to compete with other compact cars of the era, the Vega aimed to offer a balance of performance, efficiency and style. This car had three main advantages. The first – fuel efficiency. The Chevrolet Vega was designed with fuel efficiency in mind, a crucial feature during a period marked by oil shortages and rising fuel costs. The second – compact design. Its compact size made it suitable for urban driving and appealed to consumers looking for smaller, more maneuverable cars. The third – innovative engineering. The Vega featured some innovative engineering, including the use of a lightweight aluminum engine block. Interesting facts about the automobile. Aluminum engine. The Vega's engine, a 2.3-liter inline-4, was notable for its aluminum block. While innovative, it faced challenges, including durability issues that affected its reputation. Car of the year. The Chevrolet Vega was named Motor Trend Car of the Year in 1971, highlighting its initial positive reception in the automotive industry. As of the latest market data, the estimated value of a 1970 Chevrolet Vega in the classic car market is around $10,250. Actual prices can vary based on factors such as the vehicle's condition, history and the extent of any modifications or restoration. The current condition of individual Chevrolet Vegas can vary widely. Some may have undergone extensive restoration, addressing issues commonly associated with early models, while others may retain their original features. The condition plays a crucial role in determining the car's value and desirability among collectors. Number 6. Mercury Marquis, 1967. Creation history. The Mercury Marquis introduced in 1967 was part of Ford's Mercury division and represented a full-size luxury car. During the late 1960s, American automakers were producing a variety of large, stylish vehicles and the Mercury Marquis aimed to cater to consumers seeking a combination of comfort, performance and distinctive design. This car had three main advantages. The first – luxurious design. The Mercury Marquis boasted a luxurious design featuring spacious interiors, upscale materials and attention to comfort details. The second – powerful performance. Equipped with various V8 engine options, the Marquis offered powerful performance suitable for long-distance cruising and highway driving. The third – distinctive styling. The car had a distinctive exterior styling with prominent lines, chrome accents and a characteristic front grille. Interesting facts about the automobile. Body styles. The Mercury Marquis was available in different body styles, including sedans and coupes, providing buyers with option to suit their preferences. Competition It competed in the full-size luxury segment alongside other popular models of the time, offering a choice for consumers looking for a balance of performance and luxury. As of the latest market data, the estimated value of a 1967 Mercury Marquis in the classic car market is around $14,000. Actual prices can vary based on factors such as the car's condition, historical significance and the level of restoration it has undergone. The current condition of individual Mercury Marquis vehicles can vary. Some may be in original condition, while others may have undergone restoration to varying degrees. Factors such as the car's maintenance, originality and overall condition contribute to its market value among collectors and enthusiasts. Dodge Monaco 1965 History of creation. The 1965 Dodge Monaco, released in 1965, was an elegant full-size car within the lineup of the American manufacturer Dodge. This period was characterized by the introduction of new design solutions and innovative technologies in the automotive industry. This car had three main advantages. The first – stylish design. The Dodge Monaco stood out with a stylish and elegant exterior, attracting the attention of car enthusiasts. The second – spacious interior. Due to its large size, the car provided comfortable space for passengers and the driver. The third – technological innovations. For its time, the Dodge Monaco included advanced technologies and features. Interesting facts about the automobile. Movie star. The Dodge Monaco appeared in cinema, especially in the famous 1980 film Blues Brothers, where cars of this model were used in various scenes, popular in patrol services. Some versions of the Dodge Monaco were used in US police services, giving them the status of reliable and fast cars. 
In the secondary market, the 1965 Dodge Monaco's price may vary, but the approximate cost is around $9,500, taking into account its condition, rarity and operational history. After many years since its release, the 1965 Dodge Monaco has become popular among collectors and vintage car enthusiasts. Many owners carefully maintain and restore these cars, preserving their historical value. Some specimens may participate in car parades and exhibitions, emphasizing their status as unique classic cars. Number 2. Plymouth Savoy, 1954. History of creation. The Plymouth Savoy of 1954 is a representative of the American automobile brand Plymouth, introduced to the public in 1954. During this period, the automotive industry continued its development, and the Plymouth company aimed to offer models that combined style and functionality to the market. This car had three main advantages. The first – fuel efficiency. The 1954 Plymouth Savoy stood out for its high fuel efficiency, which was relevant at that time. The second – spacious interior. The car provided comfortable space for both the driver and passengers. The third – sleek design. The Savoy was notable for its sleek and elegant design, giving it an attractive appearance. Interesting facts about the automobile. Market popularity. The Plymouth Savoy quickly gained popularity among car enthusiasts due to its reliability and convenience. Collectible value. Today, many specimens of the 1954 Plymouth Savoy are considered collector's cars, attracting the attention of enthusiasts. On the secondary market, the price of the 1954 Plymouth Savoy may vary, but the approximate cost is around $8,950, considering its condition, rarity and usage history. Decades after its release, the Plymouth Tavoy of 1954 remains a valuable item for collectors, preserving its historical significance. Many owners carefully maintain and restore these cars, emphasizing their uniqueness and the status of classic vehicles. Number 3. Dodge Wayfarer 1949. History of creation. The Dodge Wayfarer introduced in 1949 is a classic automobile that emerged during the post-World War II period. Dodge aimed to meet the rising demand for stylish and reliable cars, as the automotive industry underwent significant transformations in design and technology. This car had three main advantages. The first – innovative design. The Dodge Wayfarer featured an innovative design for its time, incorporating streamlined elements and modern aesthetics. The second – durability. Renowned for its robust construction, the Wayfarer was built to withstand the rigors of driving conditions, contributing to its reputation for durability. The third – comfortable ride. The interior of the Wayfarer provided a comfortable and enjoyable driving experience for both the driver and passengers. Interesting facts about the automobile. Post-war resurgence. Released as part of Dodge's post-war lineup, the Wayfarer symbolized the resurgence of the American automotive industry. Convertible model. The Wayfarer was available in convertible models, adding a touch of sophistication and allure. As of now, the Dodge Wayfarer from 1949 is considered a classic collectible, with an estimated market value of around 18,000. The pricing may vary based on factors such as the car's condition, historical significance and restoration efforts. Many Dodge Wayfarer enthusiasts and collectors carefully preserve and restore these classic cars, maintaining their historical charm. The Dodge Wayfarer continues to captivate automotive enthusiasts, serving as a testament to the golden era of American car design. Number 4. Buick Apollo, 1933. History of creation. The Buick Apollo, introduced in 1933, is a classic American compact car that represents an interesting chapter in automotive history. During the early 70s, Buick aimed to enter the compact car market, responding to the growing demand for smaller, more fuel-efficient vehicles. This car has two main advantages. The first – Buick quality. The Apollo carried the reputation of Buick's commitment to quality, ensuring a smooth and reliable driving experience. The second – compact design. In response to the oil crisis of the early 70s, the Apollo featured a more compact design, making it a practical choice for those seeking fuel efficiency without compromising on comfort. 
Interesting facts about the automobile. Shared platform. The Buick Apollo shared its platform with other General Motors compact cars, including the Oldsmobile Omega, Chevrolet Nova, and Pontiac Ventura. V8 engine option. Buick offered a V8 engine option for the Apollo, providing a balance between performance and fuel economy. As of now, the Buick Apollo from 1973 holds value among classic cars enthusiasts, with an estimated market value of around $9,000. The pricing may vary based on factors such as the car's condition, historical significance and restoration efforts. Collectors and enthusiasts who appreciate the Buick Apollo continue to preserve and restore these vehicles. The Buick Apollo represents a snapshot of the automotive industry's response to changing consumer preferences during the 70s, making it a noteworthy piece of automotive history. Number 5. MC Matador 1971 Creation History The MC Matador introduced in 1971 represents an interesting creation by the American Motors Corporation. This car was developed with an eye on the contemporary trends and market expectations of the early 70s. This car has two main advantages. The first, versatility. The MC Matador was designed as a car for various market segments, ranging from family cars to service vehicles and patrol cars. The second, safety innovations. This car introduced various safety innovations, making it progressive for its time. Interesting facts about the automobile. Sports achievements. The MC Matador was successfully used in NASCAR racing, even winning several significant competitions. Model range. It was offered in several body styles, including sedan, wagon, and coupe. As of today, a 1971 AMC Matador has an estimated market value of around $3,100. However, the price may vary depending on the car's condition, the presence of original components, and its usage history. Despite its relatively short history, the AMC Matador continues to attract the attention of collectors and vintage car enthusiasts. Many strive to preserve and restore these unique automobiles to safeguard a part of the automotive industry's heritage. Number 6. Dodge Diplomat 1977 History of creation The Dodge Diplomat introduced in 1977 is part of the lineup of Dodge vehicles produced by the Chrysler Corporation. This car was created in response to the market demand for family and commercial vehicles. This car has two main advantages. The first, simplicity and reliability. The Dodge Diplomat was recognized for its simplicity and reliability in operation. The second, variety of body styles. It was offered in various body styles, such as sedan and wagon, making it versatile for different consumers. Interesting facts about the automobile. Police favorite. The Dodge Diplomat was often used in police services in the United States and Canada. Company lineup. This car was part of Chrysler's M body lineup, which included various models. As of today, the 1977 Dodge Diplomat is estimated to be around $9,900 in the classic car market. However, the value may vary depending on the condition, originality of components, and the usage history. Despite its historical significance, the Dodge Diplomat continues to attract the attention of collectors and vintage car enthusiasts. Many strive to preserve and restore these unique cars, considering them part of automotive culture. Write in the comments which car you liked the most. Also, like and subscribe to the channel. Don't miss new videos. See you again!